Welcome everybody. Today the ECB released the Financial Stability Review. We now have with us the Vice President Vito Constancio and we're going to ask him a few questions about this. Mr. Constancio, thank you very much for joining us. You looked at the um, sustainability at the current situation, the economic situation in the euro area. Um, what are the key risks that you found? Well, from the point of view of financial stability, uh, our general indicators uh, that we use to measure systemic risk have improved yet again. And indeed, since uh, 2012, uh, they show these uh, improvements. Uh, there is nevertheless, uh, both in Europe and uh, in other parts of the world, a disconnect between the situation of financial markets and what is going on in the real economy. And indeed, the uh, situation of uh, low growth, uh, low inflation and high unemployment is underlying all the risks that emerge in the financial sector. And actually, that is, would be my first question. This key, first key risk that you identified, this abrupt reversal yeah. of the global um, search for yield, yeah. um, why is that such a risk and who exactly is exposed? Well, uh, the risk is, of course, when that happens, uh, it means that the prices of financial assets goes down, which means that the investors uh, face capital losses as a result, and that may create vulnerabilities in their balance sheets. That's the risk. And of course, uh, um, we look to the uh, institutions that hold uh, most of those uh, securities, and banks have been reducing uh, their um, balance sheets also in what regards uh, securities, so that they are not the institutions that face uh, the uh, more significant risks from uh, that um, a possible uh, development. It's more other institutions like pension funds, uh, insurance companies and investment funds. And um, just going back to the mm. banks where you said it's actually more investment funds now who hold these types of securities, but actually as a second key risk, you identified the weak bank profitability. And is that not something after the comprehensive assessment, people could think, oh, that's been taken care of. Mm. But what are your worries there specifically? Yeah. Well, of course, the comprehensive assessment was uh, essential to uh, take care of the capital position of the banks or the robustness of their balance sheets. They are now in a much better place and will be in a much better place. But the question is, at the same time, due mostly to the weak economic situation, uh, their profitability is suffering. Um, but uh, it's also uh, the result of the fact that the weak economy increases the non-performing loans. And so they have to face uh, costs with the provisions uh, and this will tend to improve now that the comprehensive assessment uh, has ended. They don't have to be so protective and we hope that their situation in terms of profitability will improve next year. And as a third um, large risk or major risk, uh, you've identified the um, sustainability of sovereign debt. Uh -huh. Now, um, um, countries have um, reduced their, or some countries have reduced their fiscal deficits. Um, why um, is this still such a concern for you? And sovereign bond yields have also stabilized. Yes. So what are your concerns here? Well, as we point out in our uh, financial stability review, that third risk uh, has a much weaker probability than the other two. So the, it's less important, uh, it's more distant. It's a possibility, of course. And again, it is linked with the situation of uh, uh, weak growth. Because if indeed there is no growth and inflation is also low, it is more difficult to sustain the debt. That is true about sovereigns. It's true also about uh, private uh, uh, um, indebted uh, families uh, or firms. Uh, and that's a concern because the continuation, the possibility of a continuation of weak growth uh, in Europe can indeed raise again uh, concerns about the sustainability of the, uh, of the debt. And um, we've mentioned sort of the three key risks mm -hmm. that the Financial Stability Review has identified. Is there maybe something else that is also um, a cause for concern and that possibly causes you the one or the other sleepless night? Well, uh, I would uh, quote uh, the uh, underlying uh, economic situation, uh, in particular in the euro area. 
because indeed uh, we face now a low nominal growth, uh, which creates all sorts of uh, effects that I already mentioned uh, re related to the uh, financial risks that we see. And this situation uh, accompanied by high unemployment is really, uh, for me, the uh, major cause of concern because we have to uh, find ways to get out of this situation and have some uh, growth again. Uh, otherwise, the uh, economic and social fabric of Europe will suffer and uh, we already see signs of that. So it's vital that all authorities in Europe uh, assume their own responsibilities uh, in what they have to do, what are their competences, what are the policies they are responsible for, in order to have a joint effort that can indeed overcome these environments uh, that is putting uh, uh, problems and concerns to the whole European project. Thank you very much, Mr. Constancia, for your time. And thank you very much for watching us.